Hi guys, so today I thought it would be fun to bring you with me to an appointment with Dr. Nikolic who has done my Botox in the past and today he has offered to give me some filler which I've never had before so I don't really know what the process is and I'm going to let him take the wheel and do whatever he wants to my face basically. So I thought maybe you'd like to see the process and I'm going to document how I heal afterwards. I don't know if there'll be any bruising or anything like that. I'm also obviously going to deal with this situation. Um, which I'm pretty excited about. So Jules is with me, she's doing the filming. Let's go. Okay, so this is the lovely Sam and she is going to be anesthetizing my face really quick so I don't feel any pain. It's gonna be a little bit tender mm -hmm. for, for about two weeks mm -hmm. and also the cheeks as well. When you wash your face and you just it will feel like you're bruised okay. even if you don't see a bruise. Okay. Often the bruises on the cheek are, are quite deep because the fill is just above the bone. Mm -hmm. So you might just see that yellowish green part of the bruise. Which no, it's quite it's that's not like a bit. <laughs> okay. Alright. Thanks! Oh, this is Dr. Alec. My one true love. If you saw our Instagram stories a couple of months ago, you would have seen me coming to Dr. Alec for some Botox. I have been seeing him for about five years, right? That's my right. Yeah, and I trust him implicitly. So he's just applied some numbing cream onto my forehead, um, so I can deal with the the wrinkle situation up there, so I don't feel the injections. And now he's going to mark up my face um, for where the filler is going to go. How sore is it going to be the filler? I mean, I can't feel my face anyway, so it doesn't matter. Huh? No, the the filler is a little more sensitive than Botox, but only slightly. Mm -hmm. But you've had that anesthetic on for a while, so that should help. And then lift the eyebrows, relax, lift again, relax. The first mark I'm going to be making is for the mid cheek fat pad because Camilla has lost a little bit of fullness in this mid cheek area to move towards me. Then we're going to also put some filler in the lateral cheek fat pad again because of a bit of flattening. Just smile. We can see that the skin wants to fold in that area and that indicates that there's a, a, loss of, a loss of support and that's what the filler will help for. And now I'm making a mark at what we call the melamental fold. That's the slight shadowing or depression or folding that, that we can see that's taking place. And if this gets worse as, over time, it can give the appearance that the corners of the mouth are turning down. It can give like a sad-like appearance to the teeth. The next mark I'm making is to help guide me for the midline of the chin. We would like to elongate the chin just slightly um, to improve the ratio of the face. If we compare the top third, middle third and lower third of the face, they should be identical. And interestingly, in women, the width of the chin should be the same distance as the width between the inner corners of the eye. So I'm going to tap on the skin, I don't want you to get a fright as I inject, so it's different to Botox. And the reason why I do that is because it helps to um, reduce discomfort, so I'm going to do this. So don't get a fright. I'll tell you before I inject, I'm not going to just suddenly start injecting. Mm -hmm. 
It's so unnatural. <laughs> How long does it last? I believe about 18 months. Oh wow, that's longer than I thought. Lift the corners of the mouth, take away those little shadows. And even though there's such a small amount of it, it's actually made a difference. Is it? Yeah. You're the best. Oh, wow. Okay, so there is some sweetening, and in some areas I get little veins and things, so that's what's still going to set when there might be slight irregularities because of those veins. But overall, I'm ecstatic about the cheeks. The, that depression that we get mm. on, with the cheek now looks more oval, which is immediately creates more of a heart shape to the face, which is more useful. This is a and it's, it's so important, actually. And that was serious at the time as to box. Mm. The corners are not perfect, but they are a lot better. So they're a lot more straighter. Yeah, yeah. The, the main shadowing is gone. There might be a little bit left there, but you know what? We used one filler, and yeah. it's a lot that was achieved with one filler. So I'm happy. Okay, so we're done. It felt like I was saying to Alec, I don't know what feels like filler and what feels like anesthetic. And he said, it's all the anesthetic. My face just feels really odd. Um, but I think it's because it's now wearing off and everything feels quite numb and a bit tingly. The filler was. Not pleasant. Um, I, I thought it would be similar to Botox. I didn't really apply my mind to the depths to which the needle would reach. Quantity wise, he used one mil on my whole face, um, which is a fifth of a teaspoon, so it's a tiny, tiny amount of filler. But when it's going into your skin, it feels like so much more. You can hear it squirting through the needle into your face. And then, obviously, as you've seen in the video, he manipulates it to make it look uniform. It's just a really unnatural <laughs> experience. But I'm, I'm really happy with the results. I think what he's done with my chin was crazy. Like, I mean, just amazing. And I'm happy with the cheeks, I'm happy with the mouth, I'm happy with everything he's done. And, and as I've always said, I, I trust him implicitly. So whatever he wants to do, I will let him do. <laughs> and, and but basically you're saying that it was weird, not that it was painful. No, it wasn't painful. It was just, it's more of how you think it is yeah. versus what it feels like. Like, you, you know that a needle is plunging into your face and injecting a filler, so it doesn't feel normal. It's not like, oh, this is fine. It's, like, it's weird, but it's not painful. Botox will kick in, for me, usually in like two or three days, it'll start to work. I'll get that like heavy brow feeling. It'll feel like quite heavy, and then it'll kick in and I will have no more wrinkles. I'm gonna sign off the video here. What I will do is in the blog post, I will put before and after pictures, and I will document any bruising and how I cover it with makeup, because I think that also might be quite interesting. As Alex says, he expects I will bruise quite a lot on the, ch on the chin, just because I had no tissue there, so it's bound to be quite blue tomorrow. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this experience, and it was interesting, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments box, or you can contact Dr. Nicklick directly. We'll put his details in the description box as well. Thanks for coming with me. Bye.